I just made the biggest mess in my living room for this video. <laughs> That's okay, I'm so excited to share with you guys some gift ideas for the homemaker. And I'm not just gonna point you online for all these cool things that you might wanna buy. I'm actually gonna share with you the things in my home that I use and love as a homemaker myself and that I think would make an incredible gift for the homemaker in your life. So I'm excited to share these things with you. You know, I guess this video could be twofold. It could give you ideas if you are looking for gifts for a homemaker in your life, or you could also subtly send this list of ideas or this video <laughs> to someone who may be wondering what to get you. Perhaps there's something on here that you see that you'd really like, so might be a good way to drop a not so subtle hint. <laughs> all right, so I've gathered all these things. It's gonna be super fun to put away, but I really wanted to actually show you these items that I have and use and love. So, where do I start? Okay, let's just grab what's closest here. <laughs> so calendars are a really fun gift idea. And I discovered this artist, Robin Peters, I think. I think she's overseas somewhere, <laughs> Denmark or something like that. Um, oh, Netherlands. Okay, I just read that. So she does this incredibly beautiful art that is just so inspiring. For me as a homemaker, it is so beautiful. And she makes these yearly calendars, so I will link you out to them. Um, she also does like gift cards or, well not gift cards, sorry. Like she prints them in a card size so that you can order like a bunch of cards and then write a sweet note to someone and deliver it to them with just this beautiful, meaningful art. So I think this would be the funnest gift idea. In fact, I gave one to my mom and think I'll be getting another one for next year, but they're so beautiful. And I guess I should add really quick, so the links to all of these items will be provided for you in the description below. Rather than linking every single item in the description of this video, I actually have created a, a moon sift board. If you've never heard of moon sift, it's basically like a Pinterest thing where you can actually just link out to products. And so I gather a lot of my wish lists and room sources and things like that. So I will compile a gift for homemakers moon sift board. You do not need a moon sift account. You can just go and click over to see where I purchased all these and where you can get them as well. So hopefully that keeps it organized and clean and simple. All right, moving on. A lot of these items are from like small shop creators and some, you know, are easily found on Amazon or whatever. But this next one I have absolutely loved. There are these books called Dear Dad, Dear Mom, or Dear Love. And we love to use them to kind of um, write special notes and things to each other. So for example, the Dear Dad one, basically it's just open pages and an invitation for your kids or anyone to write a sweet message in, but I love it because they're just all collected in these beautiful linen bound books. It's from a company called Narrative Forth. I think it's just, you know, a busy mom that had a great idea for something to really keep and collect these um, sweet notes from your kids or your loved ones. So the Dear Love one, this one is one that my husband and I use. So for anniversaries or birthdays that come up, we're like writing notes back and forth to each other. I just think it's such a beautiful keepsake and um, it's like all I request from my kids for Mother's Day or birthdays. I just say, just write in my Dear Mom book. <laughs> and it's fun to get like, you know, they can glue little cards in here that they make. Um, and it's always fun to get separate creations that your kids do for you, but I really like having it all bound together in a beautiful book. So that is a really fun idea to give a homemaker. And along the same idea of like a beautiful keepsake, I have discovered a couple of sources um, where these companies make these beautiful, let me get you up close here, <laughs> linen bound three ring binders. They're just so beautiful. And this company, um, I think it's called Rag and Bone. They make these ones where they, there's different titles on them. You can see this one says recipes that they've um, gold embossed in there. And then I 
collect some of my recipes in here that I use a lot of. It's really pretty to just set it in the kitchen. And um, I love having these. And you can have just empty ones. There's different colors of linen that you can select from. And I'll also link you out to Amazon for some like cheaper versions of linen bound binders. I think homemakers use binders all the time <laughs> for so many things, whether it's recipes or ideas or um, gardening notes, but three ring binder is always handy and it's just special to have one that is so pretty and is such a keepsake. So I love to have these um, for that reason. My friend Sarah from She Holds Dearly also custom made this beautiful linen bound binder with these little gold edging strips. The inside is just stunning. She designed every little detail here. This is what I'm using to bind my day planner, my Tidbits day planner for this year, since I couldn't get the planners bound for us this year, but I'm keeping it in this beautiful linen three ring folder. And I think it's just beautiful sitting in your office on your shelf but um, I will also share with you where you can get my planner pages so that you can get organized for the next year. So anyway, really fun idea for the homemaker. And this next um, product is it on the same lines, but I think these were from Rag and Bone as well. But I wanted to show you, you can get these bound books. This one is called Planting Seeds, and I use it to write down like things happening in the garden and planning out the garden. So it's just a really beautiful bound book that's linen covered. I love this natural um, hand torn paper. It's so pretty. And so you can customize what you have them emboss on there. So I have a few different options. So this one says great souls. And this is where I am trying to learn about people and record simple things about their lives that I enjoy and am inspired by. So that's my Great Souls notebook. And then this one is called Words of Wisdom. Oh, I think I have some loose things that I wanna get in there. I wrote down a beautiful poem that I really enjoyed and was inspired by um, some other quotes and images that inspire me as a mother and a homemaker. So just a really special book. So if you know someone that would just love something like this and you know what they might um, like it to be for, you could even just write journal, tender mercies, prayer journal, whatever it is that you think that they would enjoy or that you would enjoy, you can get embossed on these beautiful linen books and have something really, really special. Then I think it's really fun to inspire homemakers to to journal and nature journal and um, just to kind of fill up their own cup. So you can get like any beautiful linen or leather bound book and make it something special for them. So in this one, I just get things from nature and um, write something special in there. I wrote this poem and put some nature clippings in there. Again, I just really like the beautiful the beautiful paper. So just, just think about like a special notebook idea or something that um, you think would be a treasured keepsake for them and help support them as a homemaker in just a beautiful package. Okay, super fun idea. Look at this sweater. It says Homemakers Club. It is so cozy and what better gift to give a homemaker. And I just, I love wearing it. It makes me feel especially when I'm out and about, that I am proud to be a homemaker and proud to share that with people and to respect that amazing role. So this is a sweater actually created by a gal that runs the Instagram account, Homemakers Club, and a Homemakers Club podcast. And so I thought it was really fun that she made a sweatshirt and t-shirts that say that. So that could be a really fun gift. Okay, let's talk about some books that the homemaker might really love. And truth be told, I haven't made my way through all of these, but they come on high recommendations. Um, these were books that my friends, my blog and YouTube friends suggested when they visited my house this year. This is one I am currently reading. She works his way. And I am blown away with how incredible this book is. If you know a homemaker that maybe has to balance a job 
or she has like a, a separate mission or service project like or even I think it would even relate to just homemaking as a career <laughs> um, it is just so good and full of inspiration um, helping women focus their hearts on God and serving him in everything that they're trying to do this book is just absolutely beautiful um, this one I can't wait to get into the ruthless elimination of hurry my friends just said it's life-changing so <laughs> I'm gonna get through that one and I can't wait to pick this one up but it's basically about I'll read this to you how to stay emotionally healthy and spiritually alive in the chaos of the modern world basically um, teaching us how not to just live our lives in a hurry to slow down and appreciate everything I'm really excited to read that one this next book is called the gospel comes with a house key and I believe it's a lot about um, being a host a hostess or basically a hospitality and how we can use our home and our welcoming spirit to invite others in. So I'm really excited about reading that book and I think these would all make great gifts. Okay, I've got some more um, along the lines of practical uh, housekeeping, administrative things that we need to do in the home. So I have loved these white scissors <laughs> and for some reason as a homemaker, you never have enough scissors. They're always just running away. They just disappear. So how fun would it be to gift a big old pack of really beautiful, nice scissors for the homemaker? She'll definitely use them. It could be fun to pair that gift up with rolls of twine. You can get these from Hobby Lobby, online and Amazon. But scissors and twine, I'm basically using all the time. So it might make a fun little gift idea for you. Okay, something that I just don't know how I ever lived without is this little house laminator. It is so nice and just comes in handy so much. This thing is so affordable and is held up for years and years. It's the Scotch brand and you can laminate anything. If you've got recipes or something that you don't want damaged, you can just laminate it. Kids use it all the time for their little projects, craft projects. Every household needs a laminator as well as a paper cutter. It just comes in handy all the time. So something super practical like this would actually be very, very useful. Now this is a bit of a splurge if you wanted to gift this, but these linen storage boxes, I believed I picked them up from Target. I don't know if they were the Threshold brand or, um, oh, they're Hearth and Hands, so Chip and Joanna right here. <laughs> But these linen boxes have come in so handy and I stack these in my office. You can see this one holds our receipts that I desperately need to organize, <laughs> but at least they're in here for when I need them and can just store them away the next year. So I really love these linen boxes and use them for so many things. And there's all sorts of sizes and shapes that you can buy from, um, but this would be like a really sweet gift I know any homemaker could use and would love and is really quite the thoughtful gift and something that they may not buy for themselves. That's what I'm always trying to look for. Like, what would they not splurge on because it feels like a splurge and can I do that for them? So that's always fun to do. Now let's move on to linens. I love linens in the home. So I have a few ideas for you. So I actually sell these pure linen tea towels in my tidbitsandco.com shop. So linen tea towels are so useful for so many things. I love to just use them as hand towels because they dry so fast. I place them over our sourdough, um, wrap fresh baked goods in them so that they can still breathe. I just love linen tea towels and I love the texture. So we have lots of colors in the shop um, that you can go and grab, but these are really pretty to roll up or fold up gift with like a pretty kitchen utensil or something and it's just a super elevated yet very special gift for the homemaker. All right then I discovered this throw blanket on Amazon and they come in so many colors but they're these gingham throw blankets that I think look lovely. This pattern looks lovely in any home. It's got the cute fringes but I love gifting throw blankets. I think they're always useful and always pretty but this one is just super super buttery soft and lovely and you can get a color that you think 
that homemaker would love. So this is a recent discovery that I love and I think would make a great gift for anyone. So on to towels. I have discovered some of my favorites. This is a really plush Turkish towel. And if you love just the really plush, really thirsty towels, this is a good one. I'll link it for you. But if you're looking for something with more texture, I love these waffle towels and they come in many colors. This is like a gray, this is a green gray, but I love these waffle towels. These are 100% cotton, they're really soft. They wash up so beautifully and hold up for so many years. So if you feel like the person you're wanting to gift loves a lot of texture in their towels and linens, I think you'll love giving them these. Now this is a pure linen tea towel and not sorry not tea towel bath towel or hand towel and i get so many comments when people come to my home about this beautiful towel and it's kind of a waffle design too but this is pure linen it's got some beautiful fringing on the edges i wouldn't say this is like the best for drying off a wet body but it's great for drying off hands it feels so good to touch and it adds so much beautiful texture to um, the bathroom. I just think they're so lovely. And then here is a Turkish towel that I think is really pretty. These are from the company Olive and Linen. They have a lot of beautiful Turkish towels. Again, I love these because they dry really fast and they don't take up too much bulk and space. So they're great for a little hand towel in the bathroom or for swimming towels. I'd love to use these kind of towels to pack when we go swimming. They all fit into a bag nice and snug. So anyway, those are some of my favorite towels. <laughs> I remember once when I was having a bridal shower when I got married and, you know, a more seasoned homemaker mentioned like, I think we need like a midlife homemaker shower because <laughs> by the time we've gotten to this point, we all need new towels and that's what everyone gives. So just how fun to gift a homemaker new towels. It's always just kind of a splurge and always appreciated. Okay, I know you guys will enjoy this one. I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite pillows. As homemakers, we need pillows and we need good ones and it's hard to find. And so I have finally found my two favorites. This is one Beckham Hotel collection. Just found on Amazon. It's, from, it's made out of down, down alternative pillow but they're so cozy and plush. And I use these for all of my kids' rooms. They're not super expensive, but they're not cheaply made. So they've been holding up really nice and they stay nice and fluffy. Um, I think they are like a more popular hotel pillow, but I feel like they're way more comfortable than <laughs> any hotel I've stayed at. So if you're looking for a good pillow, love these, especially if you have like guest rooms, kids' rooms. Um, and you may even love it for yourself. However, for myself, I have found the pillow. Okay, super excited about this Coop pillow. And I think it's made out of shredded memory foam. I can't remember, but this is a king size, so it's kind of big. <laughs> but this Coop pillow is amazingly supportive and comfortable. It fluffs up so lovely the next day even holds up to my husband's big head. <laughs> and I have just loved this cute pillow so much. So this is the one I love for myself. Um, and it's kind of a splurge. So if you have a homemaker in your life where you really want to treat with a really good pillow, they are gonna be delighted to find out about this one. Okay, I've got some just like, just for fun gifts and then we're gonna move into like kitchen and food, which is always fun. <laughs> So I keep getting asked by you guys so many times where I got this beautiful picture of Jesus Christ. It's this beautiful sketch. I have it on my piano and I get asked about this every time I share it. So I will link you out to this, but I think it is such a beautiful gift idea. They print it on canvas or I believe you can just print it on paper and frame it. But um, I did give a smaller version of this to a friend who's going through a hard time. It's just a really thoughtful, meaningful gift for the Christian homemaker in your life. Okay, 
This one is just super fun and I think every home needs one. So inside this beautiful linen suitcase is a record player. <laughs> it is so much fun. So whenever we go to vintage markets or antique stores, we look for records and there is something so fun about playing a record and hearing that poppy sound and it's just been a blast. So I highly recommend this super fun gift for any homemaker and then maybe finding some vintage records that um, he or she may love. Okay, let's think about gift ideas now for the earthy, crunchy homemaker, which I totally am. <laughs> but I think every homemaker needs a yoga mat. So I'll link some of my favorite yoga mats that I've had. And it's really fun to get them some other things if they do yoga, like a bolster. I have loved this thing. It has come in so handy um, for my yoga practice or just sitting on the floor when I need to. So um, think about that if they love yoga, that kind of thing. Just spoil them with a new yoga mat. That is so fun. Another thing I've really been loving lately is a gua sha stone. It's kind of like a facial massage stone and um, it feels really good and helps get rid of a lot of the puffiness um, or inflammation in my face. And I just think it'd be fun to like, go get your favorite chapstick or favorite lip gloss or favorite skincare lotion and gift it with a gua sha stone. Super fun idea. And of course, it's always a great idea to maybe gift some essential oils to your earthy crunchy homemaker friends. <laughs> But my favorite one lately is cassia. It's a, it's cinnamon basically, but a, diff, a specific type of cinnamon and it smells so sweet and delicious. So during the winter months, you could get them like your favorite essential oil diffuser and a little thing of essential oil. I got this one from Young Living cause we went there and visited their gifts, gift shop, but I'm not partial to any essential oil brand per se. If they're pure and tested, I go for it. So try Cassia or a lot of companies make like seasonal blends that just make the home smell so good. So I know candles for homemakers is always a good idea, but um, you can't always guarantee how healthy and clean they are. So that's where I think helping them make their home smell yummy with some essential oils is a really fun gift idea. Okay, let's talk drinks now. <laughs> so I love having a couple sizes of French presses and I use these for my herbal teas. You can use them for coffee, Creo brew, whatever you like to drink and infuse into your water or warm milk. Love these French presses and I love to have both sizes. So I think these would be really fun to give and then also give them like your favorite drink. Mine lately that I think is such a fun gift is this Yogi Organic Herbal Tea brand. They have three varieties that I am just loving. So this is the Vanilla Peppermint. So delicious, probably my favorite. And then Pumpkin Spice is amazing as well. And then this Orange Clove, so warming and yummy. So these are some herbal tea brands that I love and they're really delicious to warm up and add a little splash of maple syrup, a little splash of milk. Then I like to use my milk frother and get it all mixed up and frothy. Um, this is also a really great idea to get them a new milk frother, a really good one. So I'll link to that. And all of these would be fun to include. Like this would be a really fun gift basket idea. Um, but with a mug and this one is my new favorite mug. <laughs> it's so cute, first of all, and I love the smooth rim around here. It just feels really nice to drink in and it's kind of bigger than your traditional mug. So it holds a little more, which I really like. <laughs> so my friend Kristen from Kristen Hoffman YouTube channel, she came to my house when I had that retreat and she gifted us all one mug like this. And I'm like, I had to look up where to get these and find them so that I could gift people this mug as well. Cause it's, it's just my new favorite. It just fits perfectly in your hands and it feels so good to drink. So fun idea to give them this. And then you guys, if you've been with me, you know, I love Creo brew. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I am a chocolate drinker <laughs> through and through. 
So Creo Brew is ground cacao beans. And this is my favorite flavor, Uber Dark. I've tried so many of them, but I keep coming back to this Uber Dark. So you can brew it just like coffee. Um, you can brew it in your French press and have this really healthy, delicious, dark, bitter, yummy <laughs> chocolate drink. Of course, you can add milk, you can add sugar, you can add syrup, you can add honey. Lots of things to do to make this really yummy. So I love to gift this during the holiday season or whenever. And then it'd be fun to include like a bag of creamer with it. My favorite brand is this Laird brand. They have a lot of different flavors, but if they're sweetened, they're sweetened with just a bit of coconut sugar. This one has functional mushroom extracts in it and adaptogens, so it's quite healthy and tasty and makes your Creole brew or herbal tea really yummy. So some fun drink options for you. And I did a video last year all about warm drinks that don't have um, sugar and caffeine. So you might wanna look at that to get further ideas of how you could gift like a really fun drink basket. Super fun idea. I would love to receive something like that. <laughs> oh, and then if you wanna include a treat with any gift, um, I have a couple of favorites that are on the more healthy side. This is my new obsession. It's Dr. Bronner's chocolate bars and they have so many yummy flavors <laughs> and it's so good. I think it's also sweetened with coconut sugar. Coconut sugar has um, a lower glycemic index so it won't spike your blood, your blood sugar levels as much. And so I just feel better if I eat something like this. I just get this at Natural Grocers. I'll try to find a link online for you. My other favorite like splurge chocolate treat is Hue Chocolate, H-U. Um, you can find those at natural grocery stores a lot of times or in your supermarket or you can buy them online. They are more pricey, but they are like an absolute treat. It's so, so good. You have to ration it like a square a day until it's gone. You have to be really disciplined. It's super hard to do. <laughs> more things for the kitchen. You guys always ask me when I share my kitchen with you where I get these beautiful food canisters. Um, I keep my fresh ground flowers in here and I love having these in the kitchen. They're really pretty. They're the Magnolia brand. So I will link you to the source where you can find these. Um, but they're really, really beautiful in the kitchen and would make a really fun gift for, especially for people, for homemakers <laughs> that love to bake. <laughs> okay, speaking of baking, um, for the homemaker that might be getting into sourdough or wants to get into sourdough, um, it's a really fun idea to get in like Banneton baskets. This is something my mother-in-law gave us years ago with the razor blades to score um, the sourdough. It just comes in this little pack and there is a handle as well. I just haven't been using it. I just get the razor blades out. <laughs> but you can get different shapes of Banneton baskets and that can be really fun for the homemaker who is getting into sourdough. You may also consider getting them a Dutch oven if they don't have one. This is definitely a, a bigger expense, but actually I find this Lodge brand perfectly fine. This is a smaller one, so you could do a smaller loaf of sourdough bread, but we just use this a lot to simmer smaller things. Um, but I have a bigger one that I do the bigger sourdough loaves in. So there are a lot of Dutch ovens that you're gonna see influencers linking to, and they're very expensive. And I won't lie, I would love one someday. <laughs> but for now, this Lodge brand is more affordable and they work great. So that might be fun to include if you can um, afford that expense. So another thing, so a lot of fun gift ideas include jars, right? Just simple canning quart or pint jars. However, my suggestion to you is get the um, two quart, is that what this is? <laughs> the bigger size jars and gift like a pack of these or do a jar gift in these bigger ones. They are so handy to have and I use them all the time just to store foods or grains make big batches of drinks and store them in the fridge in this. So it's really useful and cute idea to maybe include whatever you're gifting, if it fits into a jar 
or include some of these jars into a gift, I think they'll love it. I mean, what, what homemaker can't find a use for a jar? <laughs> All right, I gotta share with you my absolute favorite like potluck bowl of all time. And here's the thing, I keep my sourdough in here. <laughs> so this is one of my tea towels, um, my linen tea towels, and this is my sourdough starter that's nice and active and bubbly here. But just look at the jar. I know it looks kind of gross with the sourdough, <laughs> but I only have one of these and I really wanted to share it with you. It is this like perfect sized glass bowl for like anything, for salads or desserts, whatever you want to bring to a potluck or store food in in your fridge. And what's awesome is it comes with this awesome lid. It's just a nice shape for your fridge. In fact, I'm over here thinking, why do I only have one of these? Because honestly, my sourdough is usually in it and I'm like wishing it wasn't because I need it so many times. So this might be the Christmas gift to myself. I might get a few more of these, <laughs> but just the perfect little shaped glass bowl for potlucks or for food storage. I absolutely love that bowl and think that any homemaker would love it. Okay, had to haul this one out to show you. <laughs> this is a very lightweight ladder. Obviously, I can pick it up super easy. Um, it folds out so easy and is just clean, seamless, <laughs> and it's just the best ladder in the world. This would be amazing for any homemaker. How many times is there something too high to reach and it's a pain to drag out a chair or dangerous and unstable? This lightweight ladder is incredible. Love it. Every homemaker should have one, period. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video, this gift guide for you with some bigger items like appliances. So if you're looking for um, a gift for a homemaker, maybe it's for like a wedding or a bigger Christmas gift that you wanna give them and you really wanna get them something that just really may be hard for them to give themselves, I have some of my favorite appliances and I didn't bring them out here, but I'll just share with you like pictures <laughs> of what they look like online. But these are the ones I have in my home. Absolutely love them. So an Instant Pot, I cannot live without at least two Instant Pots. I love them. I talked to you guys about them on my video where I talked about my favorite appliances to have. So I will link my absolute favorite Instant Pot. I'm sure they've upgraded it since I bought this one, but I love it. It is so good. And you could also gift them my Instant Pot cookbook that I wrote with my sister. So it's called um, Mastering, what did we call it? <laughs> Master the electric pressure cooker. Um, that's my sister and I, we wrote this book. Some of our favorite recipes to make in the Instant Pot and full pictures of every dish, every recipe, and all very healthy, nourishing, real food. So this might be a good gift idea to combine with an Instant Pot. Also, my two sisters have now partnered up and really gone down the Instant Pot. Um, bunny trail and I've just created so many cool things on their blog instafreshmeals.com and they just released this book actually this is the fall edition and it might not be available anymore by the time this video comes out but they're going to have a winter edition super excited about it but instant pot is great for freezer mills so they've compiled their favorite recipes that work great to just make but also to store in the freezer and they give you all the instructions of how to do that, how to cook it from frozen, how to cook it from fresh. But this is such a good gift idea to include. As homemakers, we can get really busy and we can have a lot of spinning plates. So it's always nice to have some meals in the freezer so that um, you can pop them out when you haven't had time to make dinner. But this is just amazing. They're, they're, their motto, what do I say, their tagline, is bringing families back to the dinner table, really nourishing meals. So check this out, I will link it for you. They've got some other fun stuff coming out. Um, they should have their sweater that they've made. I think it says expect miracles on the sweater. So really fun watching my sisters what they create. But if, if an Instant Pot isn't a gift idea for a homemaker, Combining it with one of these cookbooks is a fun idea. Something else that I absolutely love having in my kitchen is my Nutramil wheat grinder. 
It's beautiful and it is so nice to be able to grind my own wheat berries. They're cheaper to buy as wheat berries and they store longer. So I just think every home should have one of these eventually. And then if you really have the means to splurge and treat the homemaker in your life, get them a Vitamix blender. It's life changing. I bought cheaper ones for so many years and after a year they would burn up and break down. Finally bought the Vitamix and it has been amazing. <laughs> so if you can really afford to splurge and treat that homemaker, this would be like the most timeless, wonderful gift. And I feel like the blender in our home is like one of the most used appliances in our home. So it's just worth every single penny. You might also think about a new vacuum. We love this shark vacuum model. It's lasted us for many years. It's just clean and simple, does a great job, easy to clean out. And I've really enjoyed that vacuum. And then I think I'll wrap this video up with probably my favorite idea. If you can really splurge, get that homemaker some pure linen sheets. I love linen sheets so much and I've bought them a few different places. I've bought linen sheets from Brook Linen, Sapphire Linen, other brands on Amazon or Etsy. They're all great um, and I just love linen sheets. So if you just want to just make that homemaker feel like they are the most valuable thing in the world, <laughs> buy them some linen sheets for their beds and um, you just watch how happy you make them. All right, that was a lot of ideas, but I hope you found one or two great ones that you're ready to go buy. Check that off your list and just really treat the homemaker in your life and show them how grateful you are for the work that they do. Maybe you found some ideas for yourself that you can pass along. I hope that's also helpful. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for spending some time with me today and I will be back very soon to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home.